What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Now today what we're going to be talking about is a continuation of a video we actually made not too long ago here up on the channel about how to get more crypto keys and how to get them faster. Now this is building off of some of the information that we talked about here but also adding into that and some newer information that you may or may not know about. But today what we're going to be discussing is crypto keys, how to get them faster and pretty much every single way to maximize what you can get so that you can get some epic drops here within Black Ops 3. Now, crypto keys, as you guys know, are the currency within the black market to allow you to purchase supply drops and get loot variants, stuff like that, and you'll be able to just get some cool stuff out of that. Now, everybody obviously wants more, so how, in fact, can we go about doing this? The big one that I'm sure you have heard about is win streaks. That is something that does heavily affect how many crypto keys you can, in fact, get here, but it's also not the only way. Firstly, though, win streaks, again, chaining them together will get you a multiplier here to add on to that. One win is one crypto key, two wins is 1.5, as well as three wins is two crypto keys there. If you chain them all together, that is what it normally is. What I've seen usually around my games as well as other people's games as well. But that's a common one, but it's also not the easiest. Of course, if you're playing solo, sometimes you're gonna have to rely on your team and that isn't always the best thing to do. So how can you go about getting more crypto keys and more reliably? The other massive way and other only way really to get crypto keys in Black Ops 3 is by playtime, but there are some divisions of how this is classified and what exactly you can do. Playtime, yes, you can say, maybe I'll get one per every 10, 15 minutes or so, but if you wanna actually take it and make it a little bit easier for yourself, every single time that you play through an entire game, you get a crypto key. Whether or not you lose or win, that doesn't matter. You still get a crypto key for finishing one entire full game. That's something that does help out tremendously here and makes it a lot easier to obtain these crypto keys. Now, if we wanna take this a little bit further here, how can we get them even quicker than just staying in a standard game? Game modes like free for all and or gun game, ones that don't last too long, maybe like five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, something like that. Those are your best bet and what you should do to actually get the majority of crypto keys. Now, games like this where if you finish in the money, which is considered first place, second place, or third place, that is considered a win. So you don't necessarily have to win the lobby overall to get a multiplier out of this as well as a guaranteed crypto key. You just need to play and do somewhat well. A lot of people can do that. It's not something too far out of the ordinary, but it's definitely going to help you get these crypto keys a lot faster. So moral of the story with this one here, what you wanna do is make sure you don't quit out of any games. Yes, you might lose some here and there, but you'll get a crypto key out of it and still, if you stay in, you still have the possibility to win and even get a multiplier on that. As well, if you are aiming for crypto keys, play the game modes like Free For All and Gun Game, the ones that don't necessarily last too long and you also have a good chance at winning. Those are the easiest bets here to not only get more crypto keys, but to get them faster. So that is gonna wrap up this video here today, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me just think down there in the comment section down below. Have you guys noticed that just simply staying in games does help you get your crypto keys up a lot faster? or is this something you did not know about? Love to hear your thoughts down there, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to like rating down below any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace. If you reject that, I always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of quality Black Ops 3 content and any news information you guys know exactly to find right on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.